We're gonna make it, gonna make it, gonna make it through Today we're asking the question, how long should fighters leave between fights not only to secure a win or better their chances of securing a win but also to protect their health and careers in the long term. <laughs> Recovered drug addict, son of a former gang member, died twice, tasered. What a freaking story and we've not even got to his fight career yet. Terence McKinney has certainly given MMA fans something to talk about in recent weeks inside and outside of the octagon. Fastest knockout in lightweight history. Five first round finishes in his last five fights. In one of his professional fights broke his leg a la Chris Weidman slash Anderson Silva and still went on to secure a takedown. That's... Well, honestly that's gross, but also impressive. 12 and 3 professional career. A decent split of knockout and submission wins showing a well-rounded skill set. I work on my arms because if I can throw punches hard like in the third period in the second and the first. What's that? You want to know what a conditioning workout for punch power might look like? Don't worry babes, got your babes. Yeah. What's up, What's up with it? Do it cause I love it and I stuck with it We ain't with the sub and in the cut with it Please none of the talks, I heard enough of it Like, what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about it Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it Really on go, I don't know what's an off day. Now we on road, came from smoking in the hallway. Now we got shows, boys feeling like Broadway. Always look both ways, even on a crossway. Driving down Cross Bay, our town Barclays. Really on big tanks, came up a small way. Championship rings, baby, that's a ball game. Oh, she want a little bag, baby, that's small change. Yeah, that money talk. If we ain't cool, then cut me off. No breaking news, don't run your mouth. Thought it was a plug, now he running off. Thought it was a plug, now he running off. What you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about don't it. Really on the move, on the map, never slip. Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about don't it. Real eyes, real lies, real lies. All the time, stand on it. If we said it, we don't walk around it. Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips. New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it. Whoa, whoa. Don't do that, we the best coming out of BK, I thought you knew that Step up in the function, all these women like, who that? Got me looking like money, yeah, they love me, yeah, true that Big racks, new bag, new swag, we ain't cutting no slack Why they mad, don't do that See them coming, no mad, six feet, move back How we got it, don't ask, don't do that Nah, cause they ain't never put us on Now they wanna come around and see what's going on Nah, and we don't follow protocols We some kings like sis, no waterfall, ISO what you gon' do? Where you at? Who you with? You ain't really bout this, don't talk about don't it Really on the move, on the map, never slip Keep your hands to your lips, don't talk about don't it do Real eyes, real lies, real lies All the time, stand on it If we said it, we don't walk around it Loose lips, ink ships, red cup, blue strips New phone, who this? No, we don't allow it I got biscotti and froze, big boss like I'm Rose. Ice and Wendy's, that's a dome, man. Lil' Batty and she homemade. Rep my city at the home game. Up and down and go both ways. And the sprinter is taking up both lanes. Hopping, we zoom in, the package be booming. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. She picking and choosing in love with the moment. Yeah, we got it, we got it, got it. They cannot do what we doing. You see how we moving, we got it, we got it, got it. Mess with the squad, you try to try to go against us, I highly doubt it. All of my bros, we got it, got it. They know for sure, we got it, got it. Been on a roll, we we got it, got it. We cannot go without it, out it. Mess with the squad. Disclaimer. Obviously, the best way to train a specific something is to do that specific something. 
before I got people all up in my comments going, <laughs> obviously the best way to train for punch power is to punch things real hard. Thank you. Thank you. I just don't know how I would navigate the rapids of life without the YouTube's comment section. But just punching things real hard, one would be super dull if that's all you're doing for an eight week camp. And two, that's not making your workouts work hard for you. You need to do conditioning anyway, you may as well. And now a two week turnaround between submitting for Resium at UFC Vegas 49 and coming back this very weekend to face the formidable Drew Dober at short notice. We will talk about this fight in a little bit more detail in a minute, but really this video is a look into my crystal ball to see if such a short turnaround is a smart move for McKinney based on the successes and failures of other fighters in similar situations. There is no denying that a certain willingness to take fights at short notice can propel a UFC career. If you want to impress the big boss, you need to be willing to do anything for the organisation. Anything. Blood, sweat, tears, soul, firstborn. Give it all up for D White. But as well as, you know, career acceleration, there are other benefits as well. As Benil Dariush says, training in the gym is all well and good, but the best experience you can get is by stepping in that octagon. Yes, back to back training camps are tough on both body and mind, but when it comes to sharpening your weapons, there is nothing like the real deal. And staying active also gets you more used to the nerves, the pressure, the stress, the bright lights. There's no training for that. But there is a difference between staying active and putting your health at risk by taking multiple fights one after the other. Of course, there's a chance to really make a name for yourself, cause an upset, jump up the rankings quicker, and maybe face an opponent that technically is more experienced, more advanced, better positioned, but at an opportune moment when Yes, they've been preparing, but not for you. And coming off a full camp, admittedly for someone else, for the previous fight, is better than taking a fight at short notice when you've not been training at all. You're in decent shape. You're sharp, you're conditioned. There's no hint of ring rust. And the biggest benefit, of course, double payday. In fact, as you're saving the organization's butt from having to cancel a fight, you may even be able to squeeze out a few extra pennies. All this stuff is all well and good, but mostly a benefit if you win. So shall we take a look at the history books to see just how likely that is? Starting with the absolute animals that managed to win back-to-back -back fights and cement their legend. Cowboy Cerrone, of course, 15 day turnaround, won both fights. Chris Lieben, 14 days, won both. Sean Strickland, 14 days. Chaz Skelly, 13 days. And held the record for shortest turnaround for six years until, of course, Hamzat Chemayev, 10 days. Moving on to those that may have let their initial win make them believe that they were untouchable and soon found out otherwise the win-lose category. Greg Hardy, 22 days turnaround, lost the second fight against Volkov. LeVar Johnson, 21 days, lost the second fight to Struve. Dustin Pegg, 14 days, lost the second fight. Sajara Eubanks, 14 days, lost the second fight. Lupi Godinez, seven days. How are you gonna beat that? And the fastest title turnaround, Davison Figueredo, may have regretted taking that second fight as he managed to lose his title in the process. 21 days turnaround. Moving on to the lose-lose category. 
these fighters may have thought that they could quickly redeem themselves after a loss by taking another fight shortly after, but may have wished that they didn't freaking bother. Mike Brown, 21 days, lost both. Kevin Holland, 21 days, lost both, moved weight class shortly after. Bisping, 21 days between the GSP fight and the Gastelum fight. And though the GSP fight was won by submission, he was dropped in that first fight, causing damage. That was visually obvious to everyone but the UFC doctors, apparently, who cleared him for the second fight just three weeks later, where he was knocked out and then retired. And Hannah Cyphers, 14 days, lost both and hasn't won a fight since. Within the sort of 22 day turnaround period that we've ended up focusing in on, I could not find a single UFC fight where someone lost the first fight and then redeemed themselves in the second fight. If you know of one, please let me know. But this kind of suggests that if you think that taking a fight on short notice will redeem you from that first loss, you might want to think again, maybe go back to the gym, get some more training in, work on rebuilding there instead. I did find some stats that considered a short layoff as 60 days, less than 60 days between fights, and based on their research, the chance of winning the second fight after coming off a finished loss in the first fight was just 13%. It's not worth it. I'd also like to drop in an honourable mention for Angela Hill, though the shortest turnaround between fights was 29 days, slightly outside of what we're looking at. She did take six fights within an 11 month period, which is incredible. And she came out of that with a four and two in those six fights. So, I think that deserves a round of applause. Of course, outside of the standard kind of UFC format, there are loads of competitions that are more of a tournament style, where fighters will compete multiple times in a day or multiple times across a short period. But, and I'll admit, I don't know that much about these, but it does seem like it's for lower impact martial arts, like wrestling, or where it is for mixed martial arts. They are organisations like IMMAF, try saying that super quick, that have loads of strict rules in place to reduce damage and protect the fighters. Overall, it does seem like the odds are stacked against fighters that don't take the time to fully recover between fights. But chances of winning are increased if you don't take a lot of damage in that first fight, which is certainly the category that Terence McKinney sits in. So let's talk about this fight. As well as having a bunch of knockouts on his resume, McKinney does have a few knockout losses, so he needs to watch out for Doba's KO power. Yeah, yeah. Look at me, I'm on. 21 punch sequence. How might one train their endurance for such an event? Same disclaimer applies. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I've been on set since 17 I've been on set, I'm settling I'm going numb, and amphetamine I don't do drugs, I'm not a fiend Push it to the edge, no boundary About two or three in these leather jeans Look at me, flex Tied in my flesh Never end, dead Now I'm up, next Here for those checks Plenty flows, Look at me, I'm on Look at me, I'm next Look at me, I'm on Touchdown and zone Home run, Barry Barnes. Can't stop, keep going. 
Look at me, I'm on Touchdown and zone Home run, very bonds Can't stop, keep going Look at me, I'm on 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 Can't stop, keep going Can't stop, keep going Can't stop, keep going Can't stop, keep going Look at me, I'm on Look at me, I'm on Look at me, I'm on I come alive, you been a dud, you been a vibe You been in hiding, you been inside I'm like a farmer, I'm outside Don't share locations, I'm on the grind I do my dance, hammer time One, two, two, step One, two, two, checks Long nights, I was cold I'm the one before the bag Money come and see the flow What I show is what I own Freeze, photos, please, no photos Different record, but it's relevant Show the L's, I got show the wins Look at me, I'm on Touchdown and zone, home run, Barry Bonds. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. Touchdown and zone, home run, Barry Bonds. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. 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 Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Can't stop, keep going. Look at me, I'm on. Look at me, I'm on. Look at me. Is one of the most formidable lightweights in the UFC. He was on a three fight win streak, which included Performance of the Night awarded knockouts over Nazareth Hagrast and Alexander Hernandez. However, he's currently coming off of two losses to Islam Makachev and Brad Riddell. Though McKinney obviously has power in his hands as well. Doba has a head like a mallet and has never been knocked out in the UFC. So McKinney's most likely path to victory is to follow in Islam's footsteps and just take him to the ground and wear on him. He may be able to submit Doba, but seeing as it took Islam three rounds and Islam's just next level fighter. I don't see a submission happening. And if you want to know more about why I'm saying that Islam is just another type of beast, then make sure to check out my Dagestani warrior video, which I will link for you on the end screen. Starting each day with an early morning run over harsh terrain and sprinting up steep mountains. And if they come across an ice patch, you bet they'll use that natural ice bath for recovery or endurance. They'll follow the run with an hour of pad work, and all this is before breakfast. True fighting brothers, the Dagestani camps train together two to three times a day. And that's not all. They are truly bonded, having lovely, wholesome naps together as well. Following the nap, they'll do a two or three mile hike up a mountain and wrestle at the top as you do. And of course, you will probably have heard about the other, more irregular training tactics involving actual bears and small children. There is no denying that McKinney is looking like Summit Special, but Drew Dober is one of the most dangerous lightweights in the UFC, and the data around short turnarounds has to come into consideration. If Terence can pull this off, it will skyrocket his celebrity just like it did for Hamzat Chemaev. But stepping in there with a fighter with such great stand-up might just result in another knockout loss for McKinney. Let me know who you think is gonna take the W and feel free to spend your free time between now and the fight watching the rest of my MMA playlist. Go on, treat yourself. I know you got nothing else on. I can see you there in your pants with crumbs in your crotch. And I respect you.